everybody. Welcome to A Late Show. It is Friday, and I am Stephen Colbert. I hope you and your loved ones are safe tonight. And by loved ones, I mean the stuff you buy. Because our country is facing nothing short of a stuff again. This week, we had panic buying of gas, chicken, and dipping sauce. And now we're getting word that household goods, including toilet paper, are once again facing supply problems. Toilet paper shortages again? This is like Groundhog Day. But you have to wipe your butt with Puxatawney Phil. <laughs> and that's not all, because the U.S. economy is seeing shortages of used cars and rental cars. Well, that rental car thing could be my fault. I always buy the insurance, and instead of returning it to the airport, I drive it off a cliff. <laughs> Furniture is also in short supply. Lazy Boy executives said customers could expect delivery dates that are five to nine months out from their order dates. Five to nine months is ridiculous. I expect a little more hustle out of Lazy Boy. <laughs> Another shortage, chlorine. In September, there was a fire at the Louisiana premises of chlorine manufacturer Biolab, and now summer pool owners will see the worst chlorine shortage in U.S. history. But don't worry, you can still disinfect your pool in a pinch by just pouring in a couple of white claws. Of course, our problems are more than just a lack of things. We've also got a lack of places to buy those things because it is estimated that 34% of America's small businesses are still closed due to COVID-19. Even worse, Big Joe's open and close sign emporium had to throw out half its inventory. <laughs> Since we haven't been getting together for over a year, any party-related small business has been having a rough go. For example, the pinata industry, dependent on social gatherings, has seen sales plummet. That's right, no one has been hitting pinatas, and that has really hit pinatas hard. <laughs> In order to entice customers, the pinata industrial complex <laughs> has started crafting pinatas that folks really want to take a whack at, such as the former president and the coronavirus itself. Oh, they should make a virgin that looks like Mike Pence. I heard thousands of people screaming they'd love to hang it up. The recreation industry has been one of the hardest hit by the fear of virus. Bowling alleys annual revenues are down by 33%, which actually seems pretty low for an industry where every customer sticks their fingers in the same balls. <laughs> There have been a few highlights for some small business sectors. For example, the RV industry has boomed as families vacation in new ways during the COVID-19 pandemic, because this year when families were housebound with one another, living, working, and schooling all under the same roof, everybody was naturally thinking, I wish there was a way we could do all this in an even smaller space, but with a chemical toilet in traffic. <laughs> Still, a lot of small businesses are suffering, and I was so concerned about it that I decided to put your money where my mouth is. On the anniversary of the lockdown, March 12th, I asked you all to go to ColbertLateShow.com slash COVID tour, where you could help small businesses with our own line of Late Show Tour merchandise. Okay, like this t-shirt with our LSSC logo, which for legal reasons, I cannot say we took from any particular band. But I will show you that the back is also <laughs> in black. We also got, what do we got here? We got a mug, we got a mask, we, 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 got, we, got, we got a hoodie, we got a hoodie right here, That's, trust me, it's a hoodie. And we got sweatpants that say, no sweat, all pants. Much better than our original idea, a sexy calendar themed, all sweat, no pants. <laughs> the best part of these products, 100% of a late show's proceeds go to Axion Opportunity Fund Small Business Relief Fund, and it turns out, you folks are as generous as you are well-dressed, because as of this taping, we have raised $252,162 to help small businesses. More than a quarter mil. Think of how many pinatas that could buy. <laughs> and that's not all we at Alecho have been doing to help small businesses. You may remember earlier this year, we did a very special Super Bowl edition of A Late Show. And for the special, we created a big Super Bowl-style commercial for a struggling business, Foggy Pine Books in Boone, North Carolina, with our friends Tom Hanks and Sam Elliott. And it worked. After the ad aired, Foggy Pine had to hire five new staffers to handle all their new sales. 
and that made us want to help some other businesses. So we encourage small businesses that could use a boost to post on social media using the hashtag Colbert Small Biz Bump. And while the businesses were small, the response was venti. We heard from great places to eat like Shawnee Cakes in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, the Blue Bend Diner in Bennington, Vermont, and Crazy Hot Chicken in Santa Clarita, California, who sent this message. You like chicken? You like beer? Well, get some crazy hot chicken over here, okay? Ooh, nice rhyme. L let me try a verse. Don't buy a fried bird from a national chain. Our prices, like our chicken, are clinically insane, okay? We heard from amazing shops like Kaufman Shoes, a family-owned business that's been in Memphis for over 70 years, and Party Planet in Fairbanks, Alaska, who make incredible balloon sculptures like this Cthulhu that is so realistic, its mere visage can warp the mind with pre-human geometries and drive sane men screaming toward the mountains of madness. Or they could also do a dachshund. <laughs> then there was Healthy Appetites Natural Foods in Plymouth, Massachusetts. They wrote us with this simple request. We appreciate any help you can give us to get the word out that we are still standing tall after COVID-19. We just moved three minutes from our old location. Well, healthy appetites. I don't know how I could possibly help you get the word out. What, what, what's this? I'm being told we have a news alert from our local CBS affiliate, WBZ Boston's news leader. Pardon the interruption, Stephen, but we have breaking news out of Plymouth. That's right. Uh, an alert for area residents. Their Healthy Appetites Natural Food Store has moved locations. This is not a test. I repeat, Healthy Appetites has moved locations. You can now find them at 11 Raphael Road in the Camelot Industrial Park. Now, that's near the BJ's Tire Center, past the Country Kitchen. If you reach True Green Lawn Care, you've gone too far. So turn around and you'll find the new location for Healthy Appetites. Oh, and you have to try the kelp supplements. They're on sale. More as this story develops now. Back to Stephen Colbert for our regularly scheduled programming. Thanks, David. Thanks, Lisa. I know the entire BZ News team will stay on top of the story as Healthy Appetites continues to be where it now is. <laughs> Next, we got a great video from a place called Laser Ladies in Las Vegas. A warning to parents of small children out there. It is not a strip club. Hi, Team Colbert. We're the Laser Ladies from Las Vegas. We laser engrave gifts and awards for America's heroes and those who try their best. We're sisters. She's an Air Force veteran. And, and we are Fun Size. OK, that is how you sell a small business. Sorry, Fun Size Business. After seeing that, I can say with confidence that there is absolutely no other veteran-owned company started by two energetic sisters under five feet tall that I would trust to laser engrave a toilet. <laughs> when it comes to videos, there was one that really caught my eye. Take a look. Steven, come on in. Steven, we sure would like one of those Colbert small business bonds. I'm Marjo Davidson, co-owner of the Just Heavenly Fudge Factory on beautiful Lopez Island, located in the San Juan Islands in Washington State. Lopez Island has a population of around 2,400 people. It is a 45-minute ferry ride to get to here. We make our own fudge here and carry many items like the San Juan sea salt harvested from the Salish Sea and, of course, or orca poop. I'm 83 years young. Can you believe it? No, I can't. We have had our business for 14 years. We appreciate any help that we can get to keep our doors open. I want to thank everybody for watching and have yourself a fudgy day. After seeing that, my day got very fudgy. <laughs> and after more than a year in isolation and travel restrictions, I believe that what this country needs now more than anything is some good old-fashioned vacation fudge. So tonight, we at The Late Show help Marjo and the Just Heavenly Fudge Factory by giving them their very own national ad celebrating fudge, a.k.a. the delicacy of kings, if a king had co-workers who went on vacation and brought them back a box of fudge. Jim? Love. You can say it with a look. 
You can say it with a touch. You can say it with fudge. When words can express how you feel, there's just Heavenly Fudge Factory and Gift Shop on Lopez Island, Washington. With over 150 flavors, there's a fudge for everyone. Red Velvet for the passionate. Snickers Bar for the decadent. Reduced Sugar Pistachio for the diabetic. And for special occasions, there's also... Orca poop? You shouldn't have. <laughs> so when you want only the best, simply fly to Seattle, drive an hour and a half north, hop on a quick 45-minute ferry ride, and voila! You're only a 10-minute drive away from Just Heavenly Fudge Factory and Gift Shop. Or visit online at JustHeavenlyFudge.com and order the fudge preferred by Grammy Award-winning instrumentalists like this one. Hi, I'm Washington State native Kenny G, and I'm here to tell you that fudge from Just Heavenly Fudge Factory just might be as smooth as my soprano saxophone and as seductive as these curls. Your love is meant to last, so give her the gift that goes straight to her heart. Fudge, yes! I'm the happiest man in the world. Just perfect. Just decadent. Just Heavenly Fudge Factory on Lopez Island, Washington. And have yourself a fudgy day. Thank you, Kenny G. Thank you, Marjo. Thank you, Marjo's mohawk. I hope that moves some fudge. And I'm excited to announce that every small business that I mention tonight will be receiving this plaque reading, as seen on The Late Show, each one is an exclusive limited edition decorative engraving created by none other than the Laser Ladies of Las Vegas. <laughs> so if you're near any one of these places, go check out the plaque and support your local businesses. And you can support small businesses all over the country by picking up merch at colbertlateshow.com slash COVID tour. And if you have a small business that could use a bump of pure uncut boost, please post to social media using the hashtag ColbertSmallBizBump to tell us about it and what makes your business so special. Whether you've got a barbecue joint or a petting zoo or some suspicious combination of the two. <laughs> got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Billy Crystal and Tiffany Haddish, but when we come back, news from the animal kingdom. Stick around.